What's up, guys? Here we are. Hi! Two. And yes, that's Alice. <laughs> we finally got Alice in on this. Um, yeah. Blocker, unfortunately, is not going to be playing with us. He's, uh, he's sick, and he just doesn't want to do it anymore. Which is fine. You know what? We don't need him, but all the best to him in any, any case. Say hi, yeah. Alice. Say hi to all three of our viewers. Wow, hi, all three of our <laughs> viewers. I know. Maybe that's overshooting it. <laughs> I guess we'll say hi to two of our viewers instead. That's true, because you're the third viewer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we're about to embark on our fantastic quest. As, yeah. uh, as you see, Alice is going to be playing... What, what's the name of that character? Or, the class? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of the Psycho from Borderlands. Um, he just I think it's looks like cracked Berserker out. Or something. What is it? I think it's like Berserker or something. Let's go with that. <laughs> And I, uh, I said last episode I was going to play as an engineer, I changed my mind. I'm going to play as a mage, and I'm going to play it as unmage-like as possible. I'm going to try to make this a melee character. That yes. sounds like an awesome idea. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Okay, I guess we'll go I ahead and I think this is as far as I can quest. go. You should carry on to the... You have a new quest. I like how all these quests are going to try to give me new weapons for the mage class, and I'm not going to use any of them. <clears throat> right. Loot. D do we share gold, or is it whoever picks it up first? Um, it's, uh, um, um, you get your own gold, the other person, you, you get your own drop. Oh, okay. So basically yeah. the drops that appear on my game are different than the ones that appear on yours. Yes. Oh, well that's an interesting way of doing it. Yeah. It's the same level three. For any of your remaining two viewers who play Diablo 3. Oh, okay. So, in case either of you play Diablo 3, you'll recognize this. <clears throat> well, I'm not noticing any, like, large amounts of lag. It looks like you're hopping around from time to time, but. I mean, that's normal, I guess. Mm hmm. Oh no! They're coming over the wall! <laughs> My magic is so weak. I don't have enough mana. I'm just gonna beat things with my staff. <laughs> because my magic is clearly inferior. <laughs> Go down already. That's your weapon too. Yes, my weapon. Oops, I went the wrong way. I love how fast they punch. Mm-hmm. What's your business? Alright, and we've reached our first area. Oh wow, I've leveled up twice and haven't even spent my points. Glad you made it. Oh, I leveled up once. Whoa! Maybe you're close to leveling it. Yeah, because I just leveled up. You have to be like right there. I'm at like 80% or something. Okay, I'll explain my build a little bit here. Um, I'm going to actually be building almost pure strength on this character, and the reasoning for that is because my spells are actually DPS based. They deal damage, as you see here. 33% of weapon DPS is fire damage. So the higher my strength is, the higher my weapon DPS will be. The more my spells will do damage. There's probably some flaw in there. I talked with Glocker about this, but I don't care. There is more than likely some sort of flaw. I'm sure it's absolutely wrong. In some way. I'm fishing. Alright. I, I never really liked turning my pet into another creature. No, I, I like kitties. Yeah. Well, I mean, 
And that's what happens yeah, whenever, uh, for, for those of you two viewers watching, if you feed your animal the fish you catch, then um, it turns into another animal. And I don't like that because I picked my animal for a reason. Have we I, like, I like my ferret. Getting some frames per second issues here, but that's all right. Here. You all right, there we go, yeah. What? It must be just the town well, and the made. recording and the Skype and all yeah, that together. Probably. <laughs> More than likely. That's all right. Oh, and I didn't spend any of my stat points. Whatever. All I wonder if I straight. can get a. I wonder if I can get away with not spending them. <laughs> uh, well, that's actually Glocker's suggestion: is uh, saving them until you need them, which apparently is a legitimate strategy. But who likes to do that? I don't. I think it'd be a bit of a challenge. That's I could do it, especially since we're playing veteran mode. That's definitely harder than the normal difficulty. Mm -hmm. And since we're both here, I guess we kind of need the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I think my challenge here is going to be playing with a build that's not conventional. <laughs> oh, skeleton in a jar. That's where I keep my skeletons. I keep them in closets. You non-hipster. <laughs> Everyone keeps their skeletons in a closet. Why not be different? And put them in a jar. Because non-conforming is conforming too. Hey, hipsters are just like each other. I had a punchline there, but I told it all backwards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do that a lot. I ruin a joke by telling the punchline first, and then trying to fix it, and it's just too late. I think we have to kill him. You're such a hipster maid. I know. Have some fire. Golden chest. Do you have golden key? Because I do. I'm punching this zombie to death. That, that sounds like armor. some sort of dirty joke.